What's up guys, Twitchy here. Welcome to part 12 in the Arc Server Manager videos. Today we're going over engrams, so if you don't need engrams, feel free to skip back and forth in any of the other tutorials I have. Hopefully you'll find something that's helpful to you. But if you do need engrams, stick around because we're getting into them. Alright guys, the engram section, it's really small, it's not a very big area, there's only a couple of things here. If you're wanting to run a vanilla server, there's only a couple of things here that even are noteworthy. If you're running a completely vanilla server, but you want to unlock all engrams as the person levels up, you can do that. I personally like that, and instead of having to stop and go in and unlock the engram and go back, that's a total vanilla thing. Enable engram overrides, this is where you get like a little bit more... Um, control over what engrams you allow when you allow them what level you have to be to get them what the cost is of the engram whether or not it's hidden whether or not you can remove the prerequisites or if you want to auto auto unlock individual ones as you get there like all of those things can be done in here you can also decrease the level cost and the general cost of the engram so honestly you could make every single engram auto unlock at level one and cost nothing if you wanted to. I personally don't like that because it's just a little bit, it just takes the progression out of the game. But if you wanted to do that, you could do that and you could do that in this section. All right guys, so I hope you found that somewhat helpful. It's a small section, there's not a whole lot to go over. If you have any questions, feel free to post something in the comments. I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. But really, honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. The next one we're going over is server files. That one's going to be a bit important to anyone who's running a server. So I hope you tune in then and have a good one.